everybody. It's Allie from Padfoot Palms. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about bowls because not all bowls are created equal. So as far as a water bowl goes, I would absolutely 100% encourage you to use glass. And here's why. If you take any amount of water and put it in, let's say, a stainless steel bowl and then leave it at room temperature for an hour and then you come back and you drink that water, it's going to taste like you're sucking on a penny. It's gross. Your dog doesn't want to do it. I'm sure you don't want to do it. I encourage you to try it if you don't believe me. But stainless steel, while it has its place, it's not as the water bowl. Glass is much easier to keep clean. Uh, it's much easier to see it when it's dirty, especially if you use um, clear glass or like a Pyrex, like this one is. Um, this is colored glass, obviously. And you can get them really cheap. Right? These two both came from Goodwill. They were 99 cents a piece. It holds a good amount of water. I have six dogs, so that's a plus for me. I have multiple bowls out. Um, but I like to be able to fill them up in the morning and then dump them and wash them in the evening. So it holds enough water that, you know, I can, I can let it sit all day and not have to worry about it. So... Definitely glass for water, 100%. I wouldn't recommend anything else. Definitely not plastic. Um, plastic loves to hold on to bacteria and mold, and I, I don't recommend plastic for anything. So as far as food dishes go, these are also from Goodwill. These are little glass plates. So these are a great option. Um, no matter what diet you're feeding, if you're doing a raw diet, if you're doing a home-cooked diet, if you're feeding freeze-dried uh, raw, you know, you can pile up however much food you need. Of course, I have small dogs, so I got small plates, right? This is actually Iceland's plate. She's my little uh, two-pound Pomeranian puppy, and it's the perfect size for her so that she's not having to try to work with you know a big huge bowl it doesn't have much of a lip but it does have a little bit of a lip to keep everything on the plate this one kind of dips down in the center so it's not completely flat but I got that big huge stack right there $1.99 they're fantastic you pop them in the dishwasher boom you're done easy to clean you don't have to worry about you know anything getting into any grooves if they're scratched because they they come clean so easily you can scrub them yourself you can put them in the dishwasher a lot of the pet bowls that you see in the store if you flip them over or you read the label it'll actually say don't put it in the dishwasher so that's the challenge so over here we've got some stainless steel bowls these are actually cat bowls because again I have small dogs so I don't need big, huge bowls. Um, but one of the things that you want to be careful of when you're using stainless steel is, of course, you don't want to use it for water. And you need to remember that the stainless steel that's being used for pet bowls is not human grade. So what that means is you personally cannot eat out of these bowls. Not that you would want to. But it also means that they may or may not be safe for your dog. Um, this is one of those things where you're just going to have to research it and find some that work for you if you have your heart set on stainless steel. Um, I have a few stainless steel bowls and I'm slowly starting to phase them out. So when I see these glass dishes at Goodwill, I pick them up, I get rid of some of the stainless steel. So 
just something to keep in mind. The grade of the stainless steel does make a difference. So don't think that just because you're using a stainless steel bowl that you're using the best you can use because that's not necessarily true. Which brings us to ceramic pet bowls. So the problem that I have with ceramic pet bowls, if you take a look at this one, it says made in China, pet bowl. Okay, the reason why it says that is because there are no regulations for glazing or painted bowls for pets. So this could very well have lead in it. This could have any number of chemicals in it that are releasing every time you stick it under hot water to wash it. So I'm not a fan of ceramic bowls. I'm not a fan of ceramic painted bowls. You'll see those clay ones, you know, where it's got like the, the ceramic, it's painted on the inside. There's a reason why when you see ceramic painted bowls for human use that it says, you know, that you can't eat out of it or you can't put it in the dishwasher or you can't wash it. It's just for decorative purposes only. That's because whatever glaze or paint that they're using is not safe. It has chemicals in it that release every time you wash it. So not a huge fan of the ceramic bowls. I wish that there were more regulations where this is concerned, but quite frankly, no one cares. Sad but true. This is a Tupperware container. Um, I don't have a plastic bowl to show you because um, I, I don't have any in the house. So this is here to symbolize a plastic bowl. Um, plastic loves to harbor bacteria. Um, it will make water taste funny if you use it as a water bowl. I don't recommend that you use plastic. If you stick it in the dishwasher, it's likely to melt. It's also likely to release chemicals. Some of the pet plastic bowls are, um, again, they'll have that marking on them where it's not safe to wash them or for you know people to eat out of them. My big thing is if it's not safe for humans, and we know that it's not safe for humans, why are we using it for dogs? So anyway, I didn't mean to get off on a tangent there, but, um, Check out your local thrift store and take a look and find yourself some nice glass bowls and glass plates for cheap. Like I said, I've got the dishwasher running right now with a set of plates. I mean, it, it just makes life easier. You just rinse them off, wash them off, you're good to go. So just some food for thought. I hope everybody's having a great day. And we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you'd like to see more content about how you can keep your dog healthy. And be sure to check out our other videos. Okay, later guys.